we are reviewing the Space Shuttle Endeavor from Bandai. Holy smack. Folks, Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on a visual tour. We are going to review and unbox my Holy Grail. I've been after this thing for a very, very long time. The Bandai Chagogan Space Shuttle Endeavor was released back in 2011. And uh, I've known about it for years, but because of its skyrocket in price, this is a holy grail in the collector's uh, community for this particular piece. And uh, if you guys are not familiar with the Space Shuttle and how it works, don't worry, I got you covered. This piece was released way ahead of its time, way ahead of its time. They, uh, collectors in in 2011 were not ready for something like this, so much that a lot of American collectors just did not jump at it. But I am well aware that a lot of American collectors do want this particular piece. It is extremely expensive and it is considered a holy uh, grail just because a lot of collectors just didn't jump in at the time. You have to understand that the Space Shuttle Endeavor from Bandai was, uh, it retailed for, I wanna say $550 back in 2011. Uh, the country was just coming out of a recession. Uh, Americans just did not have that type of spending capital at the time. That being said, I finally able to save up and acquire it at a decent price. If you haven't figured out, this is a pre-owned version. This thing is so friggin' expensive, I can't even afford it brand new. I got this secondhand, but it came from a respectable collector who didn't really have it fully displayed. Uh, it came from Japan, uh, where it is still sought out, even in Japan, as a uh, unique piece. It's beautiful. I mean, this is, I wanted to do the unboxing uh, with, with you folks. If you guys aren't aware, I did unbox uh, the Apollo 13, the Saturn V, one of my favorite all-time pieces. And uh, I have that on, on display in, in my room. But uh, I've n I, again, I've really, really wanted this for a long time. And uh, uh, when it showed up on the secondhand market at a decent price, I jumped on it very uh, uh, illustrated book. I kind of wish I, I could read Japanese, but uh, you can kind of figure it out. External tank, solid rocket boosters, the orbiter. Uh, I'm sure it provides a lot of fun facts. I, I kind of, in this instance, I, I, I really wish I could read Japanese just to kind of read all the fun facts. I'm, I'm somewhat knowledgeable about the orbiter uh, and its missions. Uh, for you folks who aren't aware, I, I did grow up in, in Orlando and, and uh, I did witness a lot of the launches uh, from, from Cape Canaveral. Um, I think two from the actual Cape and then majority of them you can actually see the launches from Orlando from Central Florida. This is cool. This is a nice little orbit shot there and I guess that's a shot of Mount Fuji. I am going to have this fully displayed. I'm not going to use Mount Fuji because to me it just doesn't make any sense. But uh, an, an orbit shot off the surface of the earth would to me would make better sense uh, detailed instructions I did take time off camera to uh, read or at least understand the illustrations on what this uh, this piece uh, does and how you can display it and, and all the options they provide tons of options on how to display this it's it's ridiculous you can display it uh, in the, the orbiter in, in flight mode with the satellite and there's so many options i want the iconic uh launch pad pose and that's in this review i'm going to do now i'm going to do a part two video 
uh, showcases more of the uh, of the orbiter. I think the orbiter it, it, it's so intricate and so detailed. I think it re it requires its own videos, uh, not videos, a video. So it'll be a part one and, and then it'll be a part two. I did do an a early pre inspection because I didn't want to get caught off surprise. I wanted to make sure that everything was in tip top shape. I did inspect the booster rockets, these and the external tank just to make sure everything was was up to par and it was it, re it was I mean the 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 original collector who had this really really took good care of it and uh, I'm just kind of showing you the booster here and, and as close up as I can because Bandai just knocked it out of the park and that part there is is die cast Chagogan this is a Chagogan piece meaning die cast uh, with a combination of plastic but it's heavy I mean it feels like a solid rocket booster I mean, it's this is what makes this particular piece so unique is that so much love and work went into this I really really wish Bandai would go back into uh, the, the the space agency collection where they made the Saturn V and the shuttle and I think they released a satellite and then they was just kind of abandoned they didn't really pursue it before I would I would back up everything that Bandai makes if it's if it's Chagogan the second uh, solid rocket booster here it's beautiful it's a beautiful piece i am just i'm just in awe <laughs> i just can't believe i have this in my collection i've wanted this for so long uh the solid rocket booster is heavy top and bottom part is die cast and then the center is plastic which i thought was really weird because it feels very top heavy uh, i guess it doesn't really make a difference it's not like you're gonna be uh holding it in your hand all the time and, and flying unless uh Unless you wanted to play with it, I, which I did. I'll confess, I did play with the shuttle and uh, in all its glory after I finished the video. <laughs> it was really important for me to get the colors just right, so I went through some cycle selections on the camera to make sure that the orange just popped right, and I wanted to make sure that the orange wasn't too saturated uh, for the for the viewers here. Uh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. this thing here. This is the uh, the external tank. Uh, this is one of the reasons why the shuttle program was so friggin' expensive. This thing had to be assembled, and you only got one use. That's it. You would use it once, and then you would, I guess it would get recycled, but it could not be used again. The solid rocket boosters were recyclable. They would land in the ocean, and those could be refurbished. Uh, the, the shuttle obviously was designed to be reused, um, expensive in maintenance. Uh, again, the, a lot of people feel that the whole program was just one big waste. It was just costly. But, you know, we have our savior, Elon Musk. He's going to come and, and redesign our space program. And uh, hopefully he'll take us to Mars. Look at this orbiter. Oh, my God. I am just in love with this thing. Look at the detail. Look at that. Oh, this is just a gorgeous piece. Bandai, you, you got to... This is really nice. Here's a little quick fun fact for you guys. I, I did, when I was living in Orlando back in uh, 1986, I did witness the Challenger explosion as a kid. Uh, it was me, my sister, and my dad at the time, and we saw the launch from Orlando, and we saw the explosion, and we didn't know what was going on until we went back inside and watched the news. Let me see if my history's correct. Uh, five orbiters were made. It was Challenger, Atlantis, Discovery, Endeavor. Uh, Discovery, Atlantis, Challenger, Endeavor. Oh, and Columbia. Can't forget about Columbia. Columbia is the other disaster that happened in 2003. I was showing you the bottom side of the shuttle there uh, because after Columbia's accident, uh, they made a habit of that when the shuttle would dock with the space station, it would show its belly to the astronauts on the space station to inspect the tiles to make sure that, that the tiles were cracked. If you weren't aware, the Columbia suffered an impact when it launched off and it cracked one of the ceramic tiles, and that's why it burnt up as it re-entered the atmosphere. Uh, the structural integrity was compromised. I will be using batteries, even though you do get the option with this base here with a power outlet. Uh, that's me there. Hello, folks. Hello. Hi. And uh, what's this here? I think this is the 
minivan with the astronauts. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably will cover this in the second part of the uh, of the video. I thought this was pretty cool. A little bunch of astronauts there to scale with the, the van. And then that is the, yeah, that's the power adapter. I won't be using this. I just don't want to run an extension cord and I'm not going to have this lit all the time. Uh, I'm going to just use the four batteries. Uh, and just that way I can get some nice rolling, uh, some photo shots of it and, and, and such. Uh, you get multiple options on how to display the Ober and the space shuttle. And uh, look at that, yeah. That's neat. This is going to be so much fun. Again, I'm just blown away. I can't believe I have this particular piece in my collection. And I'm going to assume that it, I'm not going to help in its uh, popularity because I think when people see this video and they see how phenomenal this piece is, they're going to want it. And I think I'm just going to end up driving the price even more, which sucks for folks who really wanted this in their collection. This is nice. I do like the LED stand here which it was not offered with the saturn 5 i think that was a missed opportunity i think the saturn 5 should have had the uh the actual light on it too i think I, that that would have been really nice this is look at that again this is second hand so it sucks that the acrylic is cracked maybe uh i'll imagine it's the impact from the uh the thrusters there but that does suck yeah what can you do? It was secondhand, and um, I was aware that, that there was there would be minor damage. And I think that's the only damage so far on this, other than the, the, the box. And let's go ahead. I had to look at the instructions. I want to make sure this is done right. I hate to assemble the uh, the boosters and the external tank and the uh, orbiter to have it just <laughs> crumple and fall apart as I'm filming it. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh yeah, I, I got to christen it with the actual name badge. Absolutely. This is going a lot. I'm really shocked that the original owner didn't actually attach this. I guess he, I don't know how he had it. Oh, that's right. You can actually have it displayed uh, with the, um, without actually having the uh, the pad here. So I'm assuming that's that, that's the way he, he decided to do it. But I want this thing in, in all its glory, in all its beauty. That does look nice. Now... I did read the instructions and there is, I guess, a gimmick to, you gotta latch it on there. Then it snaps right in the bottom and you wanna be really careful. I'm trying to be careful, but at the same time show you guys. There you go, it just snaps right in. And I gotta say, it's really rigid. It's it's pretty it's pretty secure. I thought it'd be loose, but no, they they did a really good job in, in making this thing. And then you wanna, snaps right there. And there you go external tank with the solid rocket boosters a little fun fact too with those solid rocket boosters once those things ignite there is no turning them off there is no going back and hey let's turn the engine off no man when those things light up that is it the external tank uh carried the fuel which uh would be fed into the uh engines to the orbiter the orbiter actually did help a small percentage in the liftoff but the solid rocket boosters did, did majority of the work Gotta be careful there. Attach it and it snaps right in. And it's like uh, it's like making art. <laughs> and I wanna be careful here. And then I noticed here as I was laying it on its you, you it, there is a, a trick to it. But uh, once you get it on its base, it the magic comes alive. I am just simply blown, blown away by this. I also filmed this in the kitchen too because I wanted to use sunlight, a small portion of sunlight to kind of capture the colors of it. And uh, it came out really, really nice. This is just gorgeous. All right, let's do a little bit of a visual tour here and uh, let's see what this thing looks like uh, with, the, uh, with the nighttime effect.
Thank you for taking the time on watching the video. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below. Make sure you catch part two, which I will focus on the Orbiter and all its cool features and intricacies. Folks, again, thanks for watching Denobi 2. We'll see you in part two.